Hey everyone, this is David. Down with the fish. I'm gonna try and make. Everybody's been showing these, these uh, fry grow out boxes, and I'm gonna try and make one on like the super cheap. This is a pantry bin set. I got it Ollie's. Ollie's is kind of a cross between a Big Lots and a salvage shop, but whatever. These are brand new. They look pretty nice. And what may be even more important is I'm fairly certain they're going to fit. In these tanks, if I can pry them apart. Now, doing this stuff on the super cheap, it's going to make a box that's that thick. That's about three inches. Looks pretty cool. It's got these little slope things here. I think this is even cooler because I don't even have to figure out how to drill a water inlet and a water outlet. Just filter it and water in and water out on one of these. And then I will have to figure out Out of control it see I got about got a couple of spare inches here so I'm gonna have to drill a couple of holes to put some screws or dowels or something to be able to suspend this thing this is going to give me four one two three four I bought a box of four. Looks like it would probably actually give me like maybe six or seven. Six or seven grow out boxes. So I'm thinking these ought to be pretty cool and not take a whole lot of work. So I'm going to do some experimenting and stuff on these things and figure out how to get them attached and stuff and no point in wasting your time on watching me screw up things so we'll be back when we got something that actually we'll be able to like mount and show you and see how it works so thank you for watching this far check it out as I said I want to do this on the super cheap so so far four of these for $6.99 so they're $7.75 a piece that's pretty cheap for a good sturdy clear plastic bin. It's going to fit in across that 12 inch, which means they'd fit in a 10 gallon tank too. Wow, I'm going to see if they'll all fit in the 10. That might be even better. So we'll be back when we got some more stages to show you. Thank you for watching this far. I got these really nice containers at Ollie's, which is kind of a, like a Big Lots or a, a um, salvage product leftover. Probably a TJ Maxx kind of deal, except go step down a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to use these for a fry box. Now they're they will fit inside a 10 gallon tank, and they have holes already drilled, already fixed up there for me. I put filter here, and I haven't decided if I'm going to cover this with a piece of acrylic or foam it also, and then let the water go in from the middle so that it filters out on both sides and might give me a little easier more water flow but less pressure on the fry now what I did is I bought some bolts three inch bolts they're quarter inch threaded so I used a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill holes so I drilled holes up at the edge so then kind of basically pretend that's an aquarium there and See, they're going to sit like that on the aquarium. Water dripping back into the tank and water coming into here, so the fry will be here. So, this has come along pretty well. Now, a couple of tips to tell you. These are all stainless and they're ridiculously expensive. Uh, brass was even more. So, at Lowe's, these silly things were, were $2.97 for three. And I need 16 of them. 
Uh, then the bolts were like six, all, six of them for three bucks. Now, I, I mean the nuts. I bought the wrong kind of nuts, and this is like important. These nuts here fit the bolts, but they have that little plastic insert. And what that insert does is makes it almost impossible to get the bolt all the way down. I had to use whole pliers and then a drill bit and then just about destroy my arms to get these things to flow because these will not turn on their own. Uh, means it's never going to come loose but boy what should have been like a three minute job threading all of these took several hours. Now what I have left to do here is to spray paint a matte white. White's a pretty easy color as far as being able to see the eggs in the fry but what is important is that you don't want this thing floating in an aquarium with fish in it and your fry here on the bottom and the fish are in here you want to race fry with this happening all day long something trying to eat them through the plastic not a chance so we're going to paint these white I'm going to use a flat white but that's mostly for photography reasons so that it doesn't give quite as much glare as if it was a glossy white but it's for the safety of the fish the fry in there and to keep from driving the other fish nuts thinking there's all that food right there beside them so then I'm going to cut some foam fit to here and here and figure out the drip system but I've got probably including the plastic and the paint and the whole bit I have probably got about ten dollars for each one of these invested in it so for ten bucks I'm going to have a custom little fry rack it's not going to be cutesy like some of the people on the internet are doing with 3D printing things and and you know I mean if you want to see how to do it check Lowell's Fish Lab or Dean out of Aquarium Co-op if uh, money's no object and you got lots of space but me I'm going to have I can actually fit three of these in a 10 gallon or I can fit about seven of them in a 33 gallon it's four feet long uh, and since the Ollie's package came with four then we're going to go with four see how that works and then decide if we want more or not so this is David with a fish working on his fish rack I didn't bother to show you drilling these out because you all know how to drill a hole or thread a nut uh, so now I'm going to take these out and paint them and we'll be back when the paint dries so thank you for watching this far uh, it's about to start to get interesting all right here they are they're all painted put the uh, bolts in you can see I screwed a nut in the uh, holes that I'm using here cut some foam and I saw online they said if you know you put a groove in to help it stay put and when they put it in then it wicks up so the deal is is put it on upside down so that the excess overlap is high not low and then it'll you'll get your full water flow at full two and a half three inches so this is the three of them all done one of them is already in I put a little inside filter on just to see what would happen doing it but I'm gonna get these moved over and see if I can get them all set up and running. One of those aquarium co-op filters and I've got the piece on it so it falls over to the top so this is my test of my thing to see how it's going to work and there's the two filter pads one on each end and the water is bubbling in like crazy here this is going to be outstanding this is really going to be nice uh, it's going to be a great way to raise fry I've got the, the setup coming to, to actually have the water with a little pump but this is just my test to see how this looks I got plenty of depth it's a good sized little container for small fry mostly I do killifish and little quarries so it's not fish that are, you know get real big real fast so this is just going to be exceptional I am so pleased with this so far just want to get it done the rest of the way and four of them four of them laid out here ready to go all right here's all four of them in 
They all got water in them. There's this one I've been testing with this one co-op pump. Really wish I had a way to run a tray all the way across here and just let that bleed into it. May have to try and figure that out. But instead, I'm gonna do like everybody else says you should do. Use one of these little outdoor water pumps and split it out so that it bleeds into those four containers. Uh, gonna be a little work to figure it out since the hole here is much bigger than the quarter inch tubing. So I'll have to do a little work to finagle to see how to get that to work. But so far I like the looks of this. I could definitely fit at least three more, if not four more. So I could really have a lot of fry running here. So we're going to get this set up because I got fish ready to go in here. Well, here's my first try here. There's a little pump. And I'm just using the outdoor drip irrigation stuff. Running it out and you can see I got where's water coming out of everybody uh, first try don't look too bad that's amazing kind of surprised myself I definitely want to come up with something that's a little more secure and more stable but this is uh, my little cheapo experiment since I already had this tubing. Uh, it's pretty cool. We're going to see how it works. Well, I'm happy to say I've got some Aphysemia Australs moved in here. And you can see they're trucking around pretty happy. Got some nice live baby brine shrimp in there for them to eat. Continuous water flow, filtered. I love it. Now I've still got the three more here ready. And I've got some more uh, killifish garden rye varieties to go in there that I'll get them moved in tomorrow. But as you can see, the water flow here is pretty good. I think this is going to work out really nice. i got to get down to Ollie's and get myself four more of these containers so I can take up the rest of the space in this tank. I got room for at least seven, maybe eight, all total. That is going to raise a lot of fry to a decent size before they'll need larger accommodations. This is David with a fish with his first whack at a grow out fry tank set up. Thank you for watching.